Hi friends, this is Manjari. We have started with the intensity transformations in spatial domain. In that, now we shall see another image transformation named log transformation. For an input image R and an output image S, the log transformation is defined as S is equal to C into log of 1 plus R, where C is a constant and R is greater than or equal to 0. Again, here L minus 1 represents the maximum intensity, which is usually 255. The log transformation is useful for mapping a narrow range of low grade level values in the input image into a wide range of output values or output levels. And the opposite is true for higher values of input levels. That is, this transformation can expand the values of dark pixels in an image and compress the higher intensities. The opposite being true for inverse log transformations. Now let us try to compute the log transformation of an image. So we move to Spider Anaconda and we start by importing our library CV2. So here I am going to take as input an image called DFT. So let us have a look at that image. So I have my image called DFT.tiff. This is the image. So this is a Fourier spectrum image which is mentioned in the book Digital Image Processing which is given in the references of this video. The spectrum values ranges from 0 to 1.5 into 10 raised to 6. Since the image display systems will not be able to reproduce such a wide range of intensity values or intensity values which are significant or which produce significant details, these details will be lost in display of the Fourier spectrum. So we shall try the log transformation of this image now. So we read this image in the variable img1 by using cv2.imread. Our image's name is tft.tiff. I read it as a grayscale image and hence I use the parameter as 0. Now we have seen that the log transformation is obtained by the formula c into log of 1 plus r. So in order to produce log image and to get the mathematical function log, it is better we use a library called numpy. We can import this library numpy which is a numerical library for python and I access this by using an instance called np so I can use np instead of using numpy. So I use np dot uint8 for converting it into a integer type or integer data type. And for using the mathematical function log, I use np dot log. But since we have 1 plus r in our function, it is better that we use log 1p, which produces log of 1 plus r. So we are going to apply this on our input image, which is image underscore 1. Now, to view this, I am going to convert this into a binary image by using a thresholding function. I am going to use a threshold value given by thresh variable which is assigned as 1 and I produce the output image that is image 3 by applying this threshold function which is present in the cv2 library that is cv2 dot threshold. 
this function requires the image that is uh, used for converting into the binary image which is image 2 and the variable thresh which is our threshold variable the maximum intensity which is 255 and we are going to convert this into the binary image cv2 dot thresh binary so this is a function you can use for converting an image into binary image now let us try to display this image so the images we are interested in are the first image and its log transformed image the first image is the input image which is present in the variable img underscore one and the final log transformed image log transformed image is present in the variable img3 again we perform the weight key function and destroy all windows now let us save this program in the directory where the image is there I am saving this as log.py so let us run and see what is the output so here you can see this is the input image of the dft.tiff and this is the log transformed image so after applying log transformation we can see that much more details are visible in the output image compared to the input image so now you can go through the references and next we shall move to another spatial intensity transformation in the next video thank you